Tech news isn't something I talk about often, but this news has caught my attention. Recently, Microsoft have laid off 1,900 Activision Blizzard employees, as well as Xbox employees. According to Microsoft's reasoning behind this, they said it was a plan for the better, known as the execution plan. This was to reduce areas of overpopulated expertise, said by Microsoft's gaming CEO, Phil Spencer. This comes just three months after the company's $68.7 billion acquisition of Activision Blizzard. In further news, Phil has stated that it's been a little over three months since the Activision Blizzard and King teams joined Microsoft. As we move forward in 2024, the leadership of Microsoft Gaming and Activision Blizzard is committed to aligning on a strategy and an execution plan with a suitable cost structure that will support the whole of our gaming of our growing business. Together, we set priorities, identify the area of overlap, and ensure that we're all aligned on the best opportunities for growth. So, long story short of Phil's statement, it's a move to have further growth in the company. Honestly, this is not a good situation for many people who have gotten laid off. But at the same time, I feel that many people saw this coming from miles away. When you have two large companies merged, that there are going to be positions where multiple people are going to do the same job. So unfortunately, there will be some overlap, which causes people to be laid off in order to obviously eliminate this overlap situation. In further news, Microsoft also saw this strategy as a way to keep up pace with Sony and Nintendo. Blizzard President Mike Yabara and Chief Design Officer Alan Adam are also leaving the company, and by next week, Microsoft will plan to announce a new Blizzard president. Mike Yabara, Blizzard's president, has sent a tweet on Twitter explaining his situation and thanking everyone who has supported them along the way. So here I'm about to read you the tweet that Mike Yabara has sent out. I want to thank everyone who is impacted today for their meaningful contribution to their team, to Blizzard, and to players' lives. It's an incredibly hard day, and my energy and support will be focused on those amazing individual impacted. This is no way a reflection on your amazing work. If there's anything I can do to help, please, con I have connections, DM, etc. To the Blizzard community, uh, I also want to let you all know, today is my last day at Blizzard. Leading Blizzard through an incredible time and being a part of the team, shaping it for the future ahead, was an absolute honor. Having already spent 20 plus years at Microsoft and with the acquisition of with acquisition of Activism Blizzard behind us, it's time for me to once again become Blizzard's biggest fan from the outside. To the incredible teams at Blizzard, thank you. Words can't express how I feel about you. You are amazing, continue to do incredible things, and always keep Blizzard blue and the player at the forefront of every decision. To all those impacted today, I am always available to you and understand how challenging today's news is. My heart is with each one of you. <laughs> so more news about the tech sector recently. Um, overall, more than 2,100 workers have been let go in 76 tech companies in January alone. The tech sector shed 168,032 jobs in 2023 and accounted for the highest number of layoffs across industries. The, that included more than a hundred. That included more than ten thousand cuts at Microsoft. Analysis and industry experts have said they expected fewer layoffs this year, with firms that are racing to catch up with AI, AI space more likely to downsize to offset the billions of dollars they are spending on the technology. Anyway, <laughs> this is just a. A Jesus man moment. I mean, tech layoffs recently have been no joke. And I believe this is only going to get worse before anything gets better as the year goes on. Obviously, with the merger, layoffs were going to happen. And right now, the tech companies have just been taking a huge beating at this moment. Many, there, many of their staffs who have worked hard for the companies, I think, who have just been let go, I think this just shows that almost no jobs are safe anymore and it's sad to think like no matter how hard you work 
it's sad that in the end you could be still let go for someone better you know to end off the video my finals were my final words are i hope that people who are impacted by this are helped in some way and can make a bounce back because from this layoff and help everyone else uh i hope you all take care and be safe and have a good year and i'll see you all next video take care